Well, there, it was kind of interesting because we took the Wonderlic test, which we all took, and it's a pretty standard. It's like an intelligence uh, test. So you get 12 minutes to answer 50 questions, and you try to answer as many as you can, and usually you don't get them all done. And then uh, there were some other interesting tests that were uh, given, and some of the questions were like, are you a cat or a dog? I guess it was more like a personality thing, and, and uh, there was ones like, if you're driving in traffic, you know, do you like to sit behind people or do you like to be out in front? Uh, just a lot of stuff about decision making, just a lot of interesting questions. This looks, I guess, more in depth to how you are as a person. I'm a dog. I just think, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know why I'm a dog. I guess uh, I like dogs a lot better than cats, I guess. So. <laughs> it's pretty uh, pretty invasive. I mean, they want to know everything about your life. I mean, they, they ask you everything about your family, your brothers, your sisters, who your friends are you hang out with, where you go out on the weekends. You know, they want to get a picture of what kind of person you are and what kind of character you have. Mm -hmm. So they ask you anything and everything. And the biggest thing is just answer honestly and answer with, uh, you know, whatever you, whatever's going on and just tell them, tell them the truth. So it's pretty, pretty cool how, how, you know, you really get to know yourself at the same time because you're not really used to looking at yourself that in depth and mm -hmm. from as many different angles as these scouts do. So it's kind of cool for them to really get that in-depth look at you. Working in the community and being a part of, you know, helping out is something I always want to do. It's just something I enjoy. It's something that uh, if I feel a lot of, a lot of good. Uh, I mean, when you go out and help some kids or you know do something simple, help out in the community, it affects a lot of people for a long time. And it's something easy to give your time. And it's something I want to do. And I want people around me to do it too. I want to spread the, spread those feelings and get people involved because I think that's you know you owe it to the community to do your part in whatever job you're doing, but at the same time, you gotta help people who maybe are in need or just maybe people need advice too, and it, it goes a long way in the long run. My biggest advice would be for someone just coming in, would first get everything under control academically and your sport-wise. Learn, learn as much as you can about the department and the resources you have, and once you got all that, Tr keep trying to do as you know keep trying to get involved as many opportunities as you can because once you start doing that the ball keeps rolling next thing you know you're doing things you never thought you'd be involved in you're taking part in events that you never thought you'd be a part of so that's the biggest thing when you first get here you know get everything all your responsibilities under control and then next thing you know just keep getting involved and try to try out as many things as you can because that's what the college is all about all right, who would win in a fight between Joe Mortensen and Mike Rivera? I guess it would just depend on a lot of the variables. I think any given day, one of us could win. The biggest thing, though, as I know, is it would be a serious, seriously long fight. It'd be very competitive, and it'd be a, probably a fight to the death. It'd be pretty serious, but I don't know. Probably, you'd probably have to wait and see someday. I got a pretty funny story. Uh, me and Joe created a bike club uh, last summer. And we used to ride our bikes around Lawrence, and we tried to, you know, gain the popularity. We got it up to three people, I think, at one point. Uh, generally, on the weekends, instead of going out and getting crazy, we'd just go out and ride our bikes around town, just have a good time. We'd uh, run the streets of Lawrence on our on our bicycles and just have a good time. Uh, third person, uh, it was just one of our friends. I mean, it's not, <laughs> no one in the athletic department really, just someone we gathered along the way. I mean, we had a lot of people that claimed they'd want to join, but they never did. Mm -hmm. So it's all right. All those people out there, I don't appreciate that, but it's okay. The, the, the blonde beards were something that me and Joe wanted to keep going for our entire senior year until we were graduated and, and out of here. And uh, that's something we grew all summer, and then we started dyeing them blonde. My mom had some uh, blonde hair dye at home. She taught us how to do it. Next thing you know, we we're dyeing our beards every other week to keep them fresh. And then we had them about an inch long. And then a uh, coach said it was about time for us to cut them because we had to start looking more professional for the season. Otherwise, we would have kept them for a very long time. And they would have looked like probably about a foot off our face by the end of the year. So it's been pretty cool. I mean, our teammates, we like to have a lot of fun. And we like to have a lot of fun in the locker room and joking around. But a lot of stuff sometimes carries, you know, off the field. And one example is, uh, Kale Anderson and some of his buddies, uh, Kyle Tucker and Brad Thorson, they played a little prank on me and my roommates, Joe and Adrian Mays. And they, they set up basically a, like a campground on top of our house. And yes, we do have photos of it. And it, there was a mattress with a grill and about seven or eight chairs and a recliner and a lamp with, that was in the shape of a, like a, a tree or whatever. But it was pretty crazy. 
And the, the big thing is is that we still have to get them back someday. We still, they're still one up on us, so we'll have to see what happens someday. Maybe they'll get, get a little return, uh, return favor. So watch out, Kayla Anderson.